Yeah, I don't think that, that that it's out of line to have those conversations and speculate, and, and, and I think you guys do a great job at sort of trying to shape the frame the frame the possibilities, right? Because it does have implications on points and so forth, and um, there's a lot more to it than just um, Kurt's health, right? Uh, it affects so many other things going forward. But... Uh, you know, I think the similarities between my situation in 16 and his are very similar. There's just no known time when this thing's going to come together for him. He could wake up tomorrow and be and and be completely, uh, you know, a big giant step further, closer to 100%. Or it could take time. You just don't know. It it just the some one day you wake up and the wires are back together. And it doesn't make any sense. But, uh, you know, so I, I guess the only thing I would do is just caution everybody that, it, you know, there is no way to know. And he can't and won't come back until he's 100%. There won't be a – it's not a situation where he can try to come in and, and rough, it out, rough it out being 80 or 90%. You know, he's got to and – he, and, and the other thing, too, I think is, is important to make sure that the public knows that the doctor is making this choice for him. He's left it in their hands now. You know, it's not, Kurt's not the one sitting there going, I, I think I'm okay. You know, it's really going to be somebody else's choice.